keep calm so far. Hello, hello, and today has been a delivery. I'm super excited. I saw this advertised the other day and I I wanted it, I needed it. I don't know, which is the weird. I love their packaging, I'm gonna give them an A plus. Plain brown box it all came in. I've already unfound it. And then they wrapped the actual palette in bubble wrap. And then this is my first Morphe palette ever. Huh, what's inside it? I don't know. Oh this is making noises. Anyway, this is the artistry palette. I thought it was social butterfly. Yeah, social butterfly palette. And I bought it solely because I was in love with that pink here. Interesting. I already swatched some and put them up on Insta because I can't wait for things. But I thought I would try and do swatchies today. So what I'm going to do is bring the camera down on bare skin and just do it from above. I feel like that's going to be easier for me than trying this. <laughs> God, sorry. Alright, so this is now trending. Look at all that pigment that just came. Alright, so my angle is probably a bit funny. Ah, oh, fuck it. Alright, later, Graham. Right. Just bear with me, this is like my legit fist. This is AD add. Add, that makes sense. Bay. I feel like I'm so shit at swatches. Let's go back in with Bay. Um, makeover. Insta famous. Should I adjust my lighting? Maybe that's what's going on. Oh, I swatched for the gram without even telling you. This is for the gram. Side hustle. This is the color I was excited for. Pink. Oh, besties. <laughs> and then influencer. Meme girls. Squad goals. And this is actually a beautiful duochrome, that squad goals colour. I was really surprised. Fame game. Best night ever. Off camera. Alright, my first attempt at swatches. And you can't even tell. Oh, there it is. There is a shade right here. Oh, we'll play with it later. So I'm just putting the Too Faced Shadow Insurance on my face. Film putting the primers on now because the other day I did this and I, I kind of forgot which one it was. So now it's tinted smudge. I usually do them on the same eye mainly because I find it easier to stick this side because I'm right handed. So I feel like I'm really bad at swatching. I, don't, I have mixed feelings about swatching for brands. To be honest, I don't mind swatching for like you guys who are watching the colors I'm using and stuff like that. But I'm never going to be someone who puts swatches up on Instagram and does like those perfect swatches so that I'll get shared by the brand because I think it's this bit, like I think it's a bit of a scam. I feel like a lot of people are just chasing clout to chase clout and any kind of follow, like any kind of reshare will benefit them. But if you're just getting a reshare based on swatches you did of another brand, it really matter that much like I just don't think for me personally I don't want to be an account that people come to for swatches later gram so this is later gram I'm just gonna lay this down as my setting color it's like a creamy how would I describe this it's like a really light orange oh, orange brown like I feel like there's so many brands out there like there's dupe that Red mood and stuff. There's heaps of people out there who are swatching stuff. And I think if it's something that I can't see much swatches for, like if, if there's a benefit to the consumers having swatches out there, but I'm not good at them and there's heaps of people who are champion swatches and who do all these like amazing kind of swatches for everything. I think that's good. But I think you've got to remember that they're essentially doing an ad for a company even if they're not getting paid because what they're doing is showing that company's product and they're, showing, they're putting a lot of effort into showing it so they must like it and they might not like it, they might just want the follow on Instagram which I'm getting a bit sick of that shit okay. alright so I really, we're going in with the pink today 
Alright, yeah. I'm gonna go in with the same brush and using Besties, which is the pink. I'm gonna lay it over the top of this orange brown I've done, which is already going to make it look better than it would without this. So I need to see. This just means I'll do another pink look, really. But by layering colors like this, you can really build the pigment up of the color without trying to. But I didn't actually mean to put that first one in my crease. It just kind of happened. And it's like a happy mistake. So when I was buying this palette as well, I was actually really disappointed to find out that I have no idea where to look for Morphe codes. Like is there a list of Morphe codes somewhere out there? I ended up just using James for the 10% off. I think it's like 15 now, I don't know. I'll put down how much I bought this. I bought this in Australian and I paid in Australia and I paid postage because I couldn't think of $50 of Morphe shit to buy. I'm gonna do like a real basic look today. I wanna, I gotta ponder this pink more. Now, so I'd really love to know if you've got any recommendations on whose Morphe codes you use. I'd really like to support like a small person, like someone who's, who wouldn't get many people using their code or something like that. I'd love to know who you recommend. So I'm gonna use the shade Makeover. So please let me know whose Morphe code you use, or are you just lazy like me? I was hoping to find that uh, Temptalia's Morphe code, but it looks like she doesn't have one. And mainly just because I was like, mm, I go to her page a lot for opinions and for reviews and for swatches. I did try her My Vanity thing for a while, but that... It got too annoying because when you put a palette in, it gives you every single shade as a dupe which is fine but then I couldn't organize it so I couldn't I didn't have to look at just every shade every time so we're going pink do I want well I want to put pink I'm just going to put pink on the lid because this is the this is the whole reason I bought this bloody shade and then I'm going to play over this as well oh, I'm going to do it I'm going to cut the crease yeah the vanity page just got really annoying to use after a while and like, I like the idea, I like being able to put all my makeup products in a uh, in a website that I can then go back and look at later to compare and see if I do have like a heap of dupes and stuff like that. But I also just wanted to like catalogue my makeup so I did start doing an Excel document of my makeup and tracking that all, which was fun. Uh, and then I got a bit bored of it and then it got hard because like my Sephora online you can't see all the purchases you made. I just went stupid position for that. Like I can see most of them I think but I can't see any on store purchases and that like annoyed me. So then I sort of had to remember where I bought them, when I bought them. I really didn't mean to do that. Alright then let's go on in with besties. Yeah, so far that pink's a bit shit, to be honest. Alright, so let's go in with the shimmer, because that's going to fix it all. And let's just pick up Bay. Yeah, and I can't be bothered with the brush. Sorry, I was feeling super lazy today. I was like, play with new makeup or actually clean my room. So this is actually my guest room that we're in at the moment that I took over. like what I've done <laughs> so this sort of happened because when I am at work I get up at like 6 5 30 a.m. and my boyfriend doesn't start work until 8 and I like to have the lights on when I'm getting ready which wakes him up if we share a room uh, so Bay is a bit shit as well 
I mean, it's an okay colour. But I've also done a bit of a shit job today, so, you know. There's a few things going against me. Anyway, I just couldn't be bothered this morning when I got up. I was going to go to the gym, and then I was like, nah. And then I was going to clean my clothes. I put Influencer, which is a purple. Just fucking around now. I do have to go to the post office today because I've got to pick up a package that they wouldn't just leave here the other day. Nope, I also hate that. I'm making all these really bad decisions today. I'm just going to go over it with besties. Alright, then I'm going to put a shimmer over that. So I'm going to put for the gram? No. Fame game? No, 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 Insta Famous. Anyway, then I can't be bothered doing that. Um, and then I was watching Sabrina, the new series on Netflix. I was hoping it'd be more similar to the original. But I didn't realise it was made by the same people who made Riverdale. I hate Riverdale. Sorry if you like Riverdale. I liked the first season. The first season was good. But the second season... Oh, that got weird. I hate everything about my face right now and I can't be bothered changing it. But the shadows are pretty shit too. Which is why I've had problems. I mean, it's okay. This is a, this is like the first look where I've been like, I'm never posting this anywhere except in this video. This is mostly me just learning how this palette works, though. So I'm gonna put now trending as my inner corner. I wouldn't really recommend this palette, but I will play with it a bit more and see if I can actually at least create a look. You know, just so I can like tag Morphe and something. I don't really get how people think that it would work. I really wonder who's behind the whole, all the brands' Instagrams, to be honest. Like, is it a 12 year old child? You'd never know. Because, like, it's not the CEO. And like, what if it's like 20 different people will have to log in and then they all have different segregated times to log on and like stuff. But then one of them forgets that they're in their, their fa like their fake account, I don't know. Not their fake account, that they're in their real account. Let me know if you finished Sabrina and what you thought of the end without any giving any spoilers. I just finished it, I am feeling a bit meh. And like, are witches our new thing now? Are they gonna be the next trend again? Sorry, that was makeover. I made such a mess of that eye. Did I fix it? No, let's just go fix it with some concealer. I'm not really like, I'm not gonna see anyone who cares besides me. So I'm happy to wear this out. I'm not gonna wear test this. I mean, I'll come back if it's like really, if it was like a good wear test and I'm like, ooh, it's super different. But if it's just like a normal shitty one. Meh. I've got the concealer on now with the cut crease, so I don't know if that, how much that affects it all. I'm not gonna do liner, cause I can't be bothered. I just don't, I don't like this look enough for that. It's kind of funny because it doesn't look bad, I don't think. I'm just like in a down mood today. I'm sorry, I'm like, I just wanted to play my new makeup. I'm gonna put Benefit They're Real on. I am excited to play with it, but it disappointed me and now I don't really like it. I'm just a bit mad at it all. Like, I think this performs how Morphe shadows perform, I don't. I didn't have high hopes when I bought it. I was like, oh, I have so many high-end palettes. 
let me try the not by high end and um I've tried not buying high end by the way I haven't even filmed with them because I haven't liked what I've got or indie I love my indie brands I've hidden it from myself somehow here it is but like I bought this palette the other day because this is new in Australia from swatching it I like a quick play it just doesn't seem that good I also randomly bought this part too because I really wanted neons but it's pretty shit so because I've been on the hunt for pinks let me just um let's do a pink swatcheroo comparison so here we're gonna start with one of my faves and this is from the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions this is the pink in that BYS palette I just showed you oh look at all that pigment it's funny because I like pinks and as you're always on the hunt for a new pink but you don't really need it this is how I just watched the Wolfie one right here it's got it's like peeling up I don't know what, what happened to that one so it swatches really nicely but it's like peeling in the pan I don't even think you can see it at the festival and this is Irigi. The Morphe one swatches really nicely. You can see how shitty that BWS one is. Is it this? This? But how do you say it? I don't even know. Anyway. And I think this just shows how hard it is with swatches to know what's going to be good or not. I don't know. Anyway I need to play with this palette a little bit more before I make up any decisions about thoughts. Let me know if you've tried it. Also let me know a Morphe code that I should use in the future. Let me know if you've bought this palette or any of your thoughts. The more I'm staring at this look, the more I like what I, how I kind of fixed it. But the pink wasn't exactly how I want it to be, but I'll play with that some more and maybe it will be. Anyway, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for dropping by.